Casual and having fun at Texas Frightmare Weekend with Mr. Bruce Corbett. It's 2018, and you told me you've been here quite a few years. You missed a few. I did too. But here we are, man, having fun. And once again, just a great crowd at Frightmare Weekend, man. Yeah, it's always feeling right at home at Texas Frightmare Weekend. As you know, well, we were part of the first one, and to watch it grow into this over these years, it's yeah. It's insane. I, I look forward to it every year. Good. Yeah, we do too, man. Yeah, Got to yeah. block out the whole weekend, of course. <laughs> right. And so it's, it's uh, you know, the famous Bruce Corbett, rigor mortis, war beast, touring the world, metal singer. You're just an all-around badass. Well, if you say so, man. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's a little bit too much for me, but I appreciate it. Thank Everyone you. is sending you positiveness. Bruce. I know, man. And, and that's the reason I'm still standing here today. You know, I give a lot of credit to my wife, first off. My Wonder Woman, my wife, helping me. But everybody else out there, you know, you've seen what they've done for me. Yes. They've had my back this whole time, supporting me every day, getting me through it, lifting my spirits. Don't even have a thought in their mind of me not beating this. They're just, right. you're going to beat it. You're going to beat it, you know? So. Yes. Thank you, everyone, for yes for being there for me in my, you know, my fight. Right. This is a fight, and you're blazing a path. And you were telling me this is kind of setting an example for a lot of people, man, of knowing how to fight uh, 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 hurdles in their life. And, and we all get hurdles. Yeah. I mean, this, you know, this is something you never expect to happen to you. And I wake up sometimes like, is this really real? Why can't it just be a dream? But. What I found out is, you know, I've taken everybody on this journey with me in this fight. And I did that because I watched Farrah Fawcett do something similar. And it really inspired me that she was so courageous enough to show everybody the fight. And I wanted to do the same. And then I'm getting feedback from people that are following me every day. And they're just so inspired. And, yes. and, and you know, they're becoming, I was telling you, I'm getting to more fans because of my fight against cancer and heart disease than I ever did from rigor mortis or war <laughs> you know, And they're just like, you know, you're showing us how to fight if something happens in our lives. Right. And uh, people are giving me credit for, you know, getting them to go get checked out and stuff, you know? Yeah. So, yeah. I mean, but they're doing in return the same for me. Because yes. anytime I'm in the ER or whatever, they're, I'm, ans yeah. I'm asking for their support and they're, coming right. through so it's a it's a team effort yes it is we're it's a human connection yes you with us and, and us with you and, and and with anyone that is going through something similar especially that yeah and uh, you're just a great example Bruce so Thank you. and yeah. I mean uh, we all mean it so it's it's great to see you every year at the booth and Casey Orr and and uh, you know the crew and just yeah. it just makes me think that the metal and we talked before about your DVD Yes. And, and some of the turning points in your life, you know, that little things here and there, and that's resulted in your music and your albums and, and you being here. And uh, well, While I'm standing uh, here today, it was just a little fluke accident, things that might not have happened in my life would have took a totally different direction. So I'm always grateful to be where I'm at and who I am, and I give credit to people like Mike Scotia, Philip Anselmo, people like Jeff Lyles, and that's uh, done a big part of getting me to where I'm at now. Gotcha. gotcha. If it wasn't for them, I wouldn't be here. Gotcha. You know, it's, it takes that kind of luck on sometimes to meet the right people. You're right, man. And it seems to me like that's the main thing is you want friends to stay in touch with you through Facebook mainly and, and, and just keep giving you positiveness. And it, it does. It, you know, when I'm going through hard times to get on there and read, so many people are pulling for me and yeah. And sending out prayers or whatever they do, good vibes, it, it has made a big difference. And that's 
Yeah. That's why, I, like I said, it's, it goes both ways. They might be inspired by my fight, but I am calling on them for help, you know? Yes. Because we need help in these kind of situations. Yes, you know? yes. So, but, it's you know, you, you've seen I've made a big turnaround in these last few oh, weeks, yes. dude. And they gave me uh, three to six months, like four and a half months ago, and here I am. You're rocking. I'm, I'm not, I'm not going to die anytime soon. I can, no. I can guarantee Good. you that. So much. we're going to look right there and say we, we're going to see you at many more Texas yeah. Frightmare weekends. This is not my last Texas Frightmare weekend. And Mr. Bruce Corbett. Real quick, shout out to Lloyd and Sue Cryer. Everything you've done for this whole convention, I've watched it from day one. From your earliest dreams and ideas blossom into this greatest tour convention in the U.S. Yeah, the Corp Pay Show. Every Sunday we're here live. We're going to give you 90 minutes of live, great, irreverent shit. <laughs> and also just talk about Satan and talk about movies and talk about metal and talk about Jenny Slash's uh, weekly dose of horror. Yeah. Texas Fright My Weekend. I am here with Dee Wallace. Don't, just don't stare at my boobs all the time. Sure, I do get comments from occasionally religious fanatics. I have seen people yeah. stopping down Who want to wag their finger at me for a ring tank. The Corpse Paint Show rules!